Okay, let's stay, uh, get started. We're looking at area grid reference today. It's a skill that we'll, you'll use from year 7 the whole way through to year 12. And uh, today we'll look at some uh, the, the skill itself and some applications of the skill. Okay, so area and grid reference, what is it? Well, it's a referencing system or, uh, that you'd use if you're using a map to locate specific and large uh, features like houses or lakes. And what's the difference between the two? Well, area reference is a broad reference. It references a whole grid square. And grid reference is more specific. So you use area reference for like a lake or a forest and grid reference for a house. Area reference being then four digits and grid reference being six digits. We'll look at that on the next slide. So as I said before, area reference is the four digit reference, grid reference is the six digit reference. Now the easiest way to remember it, and there's several ways you can remember it, and this is probably where most students I find make uh, fairly easy mistakes, is they have an understanding of the, of the concept of the skill but make sort of simple errors in, in reading it. Uh, this little acronym here, LEN, is the one I would suggest that students use. Firstly, you're reading from the left corner, you read the eastings, then the northings. So the eastings are the numbers that would run along the bottom, or run to the east, and the northings are the numbers along the side that would run to the north. If you're able to remember that, then you're well on your way to being able to use area and grid reference. Um, and then, as we said at the start, the L corner, you use the left corner. So you'd be reading that one there. Um, we'll go through some examples in a moment to sort of help clarify that. So, for example, the dot here, if we were looking for the area reference, so the area reference being the whole grid square itself, and this would be if we were looking for usually a lake or a forest, you might be looking for an area reference and you're using the whole grid square. The acronym remembering is LEN. So the left corner, the eastings, and then the northings. So if we have a look there at that, uh, the, the black dot, we're going to be reading this left corner, this left-hand corner here. So we'd go and have a look at the eastings, and they go 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2. And that's that one that lines up on that, on that left corner box. So we've done that, we've done that. Now we've got to do the northings. We do the same. 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2. You see that lines up there. And we've already got the 1, 1. Oh, sorry, the 1, 2. Uh, the area reference then of that grid square, if we look at that again, 0, 2, 1, 2. And you might AR. And that would be the area reference of that, of that square itself. <clears throat> grid reference is done the same way. As I said at the start, it's just slightly more specific. You'd be using a grid reference to find, say, a house or a, uh, a fork in a road or something that's going to be a lot smaller than uh, just a large feature like a lake. To find the grid reference, you do the same thing. We do the L, the LEN. So we're always we're reading that the left corner. We do the eastings first and the northings. The big difference, though, is that we're looking for somewhere in a grid square, uh, in an area reference square. So we've got to try and make it more specific. So in order to get that six digit, we basically, we're basically breaking that single grid square into tenths. And you can see that here. Uh, we break it, the eastings into tenths and the northings into tenths. So if we look at, say, the area reference of this dot x here, so if we were to say area reference of x here, uh, we'd look at that the left hand corner first, then we do the eastings, so that's the 03 and then the northings of the 13 and we'd say it's 03 and 13. Now, sorry we'll just have to just forget that line there. Um, the grid reference in, you can see down here, the squares have been broken into those tenths. 
So 03 to 04, you can see 03, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then the 13 to 14, 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so forth up to 1314. Uh, so in order to find that grid reference, we go across. So we end up with a grid reference of 0, 3, 5, 1, 3, 5. And that's the way it would be notated as well. All right, let's look at some applications of area grid reference on this map. It's a fairly common map that you'd find in uh, sort of junior examination, so anything from 7 to 10. So you might be asked to find, say, the area reference of that uh, small lake. So area reference of this lake here. So what we do, we use that acronym of LEN. So we're looking at that left-hand corner. The Eastings first, then the Northings. I'll let you pause here to work it out yourself. Okay, so hopefully you've had a look at that. So if we do the Eastings first, it's going to then be 6901, and so the area reference of that small lake would be 6901. Let's now look at a grid reference. Let's look at the grid reference of Grove Farm. It's a much smaller location and we'd be looking for something more specific. We do the same again, LEN. We look at the uh, left-hand corner, then the Eastings, then the Northings. I'll pause it here for you, and you, or you can pause it and work it out for yourself. Okay, so welcome back. Hopefully you've had a go at working out the grid reference of Grove Farm. So we'd look at it and say, well, the, there's the left-hand corner. The easting is 7-0, the, the northing is 9-9. Nine, nine. So you'd be looking at and dividing that up, and it's going to be hard without a ruler for me. Um, it's just my big finger, my fat finger. I don't have a stylus. I mean, but you divide into tenths. And so the grid reference there is going to be 7-0, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, about 9 and the Northings, and then 9, 9, and one, two, about 8. So the grid reference there is 7, 0, 9, and 9, 9, 8. Okay, so an overview, uh, area reference, and grid reference. So area reference is your four digit, Grid reference is your six digit. We use the same technique for both uh, the L, E, N. So, look, reading for the left hand corner, we do the eastings, which run to the along the bottom uh, or to the east, and then the northings, which run along the sides. And then we give it in the in whatever notation it's asked for. The only difference between the two is if we are after a grid reference, then we need to divide that grid square into tenths and give a value of where that point is going to lie in the uh, in the grid square. As I said at the start, it's not a particularly hard skill, but it's a very easy skill to make a, a, a simple error, like reading them the wrong way, reading from the right-hand corner, reading from a top corner. So it's fairly common for students to feel like they understand the skill of uh, area and good reference, um, and feel confident that they are able to do it, but then make mistakes in an examination or a test and then um, and wonder why they've made that mistake. So if we remember the acronym of LEN, uh, L-E-N, remember that the difference between the two is that the area reference is the whole area, uh, the grid is within the grid squared, then most students should be able to feel very confident that they can then uh, complete the skill. Okay. We'll attempt a few uh, examples in class. Um, hopefully you've found this presentation um, helpful and, and uh, explained the two skills. Thanks very much.